Welcome back to Dog Swap Shop and Forge. So today we're going to do a one day challenge. We're going to make a doming steak out of this stub of wagon axle, um, which will have a face that's approximately 60 millimeters. So, so yeah, approximately 60 millimeters. So it's two and no, oh, call it two and a half inches um, across. We'll need to upset this end so we get enough material to form the shank that'll go into the square hardy hole on my Dudley. Um, we'll need to square up this section so it looks pretty. We'll try and leave this section round um, and get a nice shoulder so it seats well. We're going to use a piece of uh, modern leaf spring for the face. Uh, so we'll draw out a short tang on that to give us a handle to hold on to it whilst we weld it, forge it to round and that'll expand it out a little bit so we get the 60 millimeters. I think it's 50. Alright. It's just on 60 millimeters so it's pretty much going to be what we need for that face. We might get a bit more thickness. Um, along the way we'll dome this a little bit better. And when it comes to the actual forge welding and tidying up, we'll do that in the coal forge. But we'll do the upsetting in the gas forge because I need to heat things quickly and work quickly. So, let's see if we can get this done in one day. Um, let's have some fun. I hope you guys can see it. Starting to get some upsetting in there where we want it. First, let's see about controlling the spring. spreading out in the middle there. All right, we're coming up on where we want to be. This is actually a wicked cold shot. I'm going to try and 
weld that out. When we come to welding, over 40. No, but we are over what we need for the... So we need to get a little more depth. So we don't need that very end moving much anymore. We want to move the next section down. So what we're going to do is we're going to chill the first centimeter or so so it acts like a driver plate and we'll push the hotter metal underneath it further. Um, so, it's not something I like doing with mystery steel, but I'm 99.9% .9 certain this is wrought iron, so it's not going to matter. Um, but we'll see what happens. Rod iron doesn't generally like this anyway. It tends to split. But that got us a lot away then.
powering this down. trick as before. We're going to chill the end, drive it in, and then flip it round and round and round so that we get a good fit and we upset a little bit because we've made the top section a little bit thin for this. So it's about two millimeters undersized. Just not.
I think we got that. that excess so we can start tidying up these welds inside. I'm just forging it to round so those ears will become part of the body.
quick wire wheeling. Now, see. later we have a nice little doming stake uh, it does need its own stump and stand to be mounted on the base section is wrought iron as I mentioned at the start um, it's an axle stub uh, the faceplate is modern spring steel uh, which was forged welded on it's probably about six millimeters thick at this point the seven and a half hours included half an hour for my lunch and an hour that this spent tempering. So, here are the rules. Must include a forge weld, must be heat treated, must be a struck tool or something that you work on. So, punches, dies, uh, anvils, working stakes like this one. You have one day to do it. You can use angle grinders, bench grinders, um, belt grinders if you got them. Um, you cannot use a power press or power hammer. It's all the strength of your arm and your mind, shall we say. So, to all the smiths out there with channels and whatnot, let's see what you got. So if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, feel free to share on social media, and if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. When you do, don't forget, ring the notification bell. So get out to your shop, push your envelope, see how much you can actually get done in a day. But above all, stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.